Oh no. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Hey, can I? Or the Iron Jeff one two World Championship S two R two. China is asking. The guys that Trump don't like China. 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 Let's get ready to rumble. Immediately crashes in the Considering it's China weather, it looks like it's going to be at a tie. A high chance of rain or a high chance of not? Wait, did you put like a uh, hundred percent like weather? Why? Okay, I I'm missing out. What do you what do you say? A hundred percent, hundred percent, or what? Like, because a hundred percent weather would just be like straight rain or like straight dry. And approximate weather could be like we could be racing in the dry, and I don't know it. It could rain or like. No, be rain. no, no, there should be some transitions. It won't be like the, rain, rain the entire day. You think this, this game seriously has a chance to be flooded? It's literally like it's raining one lap and the next lap is going to be dry. Sounds like Monaco. Well, look, this is this thing, right? Because I've seen a lot of pop up cards. So, like, I look at the track and I'm like, I can paint the pot for the track is going to be dry for like. So, uh, uh, this game literally happens like the middle of the second that Jeff tells you. Put in the fastest lap. Good job.
What is that? Two seconds faster, are you serious? So have you boys heard about how bad shit is? How what? How bad shit is saying this shit has been. Especially in the last like three days. Have you guys watched the qualifying? What happened? Guess, guessing the spring race? All the J Japanese ambassadors and shit got killed. So like two days ago, uh, the guy who created the Yu-Gi-Oh was calling him, right? And the guy that created what? Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a card game. It's an anime report. Next with uh, the guy with the spicy hair. <laughs> nope. I can't even really hear you. The engine is not loud. You know Yu-Gi-Oh! like the anime or the card game? Yeah. Oh yeah, he passed away, didn't he? Yeah, he was found dead uh, after a snorkeling trip. So that was crazy already. Then the day after, the fucking former prime minister of Japan just gets shot in front of everybody. And then now today, uh, Tony Sirico died. I don't know, the, uh, the guy that played, uh, Polly Walnuts, the soprano. Like, everybody's fucking dying, apparently. In Japan, mostly. I, mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe Tony Sirico is a little Japanese. The, the, the Italian he's got him. What the fuck? How do I go from being second fastest to slowest? Second fastest to what? The slowest. We live in a society. Was you? Was you like actually driving out? Like you trying? Hey, everybody's in the pit, huh? What's up with that? What's up with that? I'm gonna put on the fucking Ryan Reynolds for the setup. I need to smoke crack. <laughs> so far, our fastest lap is at my friends with everybody in this point four. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think it's me. Oh, oh Ray Two probably does that. No, I think I met, uh, so I think, Licks, whatever the guy, I think I met him on a, in the race, or something like that, night and like that. What the fuck? Two, we met at a, fourth in the speed trap, two we met in an online session, miles per hour. like a public session. Yeah, I thought that, yeah. But I'm, the only people that I invite to this race are the like people that I meet in online races that race good with me. I met this one guy, he was, he was talking so much shit in the online race, and I was like, bro, if you want to set a knowledge of race, you cannot fucking pass people and shit. And I just fucking on at him. Oh, but what happened? It's pretty quiet out on track. Know. We should consider getting out there. Better remember that I hate Jeff. Well, F122, you don't got... Yeah. I hate Mark more though. It's like <laughs> I hate all my engineers.
Oh, that boy stand out. Is that new tires? That is new tires. Was actually no, they're not. I don't think so. No, no, they're not new tires. Thank God. The setup is loose as fuck. Loose with a raised bottom. do something. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Am I testing? <laughs> you scared the fuck out of me. Did you buy this for me? What is it for me? Yep. Good one. Did you get something? Why? Why would you have you want it? <laughs> okay, remember that the way the car handles is all about weight transfer. When you break, the center of mass moves forward. When you accelerate, it moves rearward. And when you turn, it is pushed to the outside of the car. More load on each tire equals more grip. So make sure you're smooth with the controls to prevent the weight transfer from becoming too violent. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm the only driver that does not use Five minutes out, five minutes out. Higher moment. If I was the Alpine, I would go in there and get higher. He's been up two times already with the two guys. Checks complete. All personnel be aware we have a car leaving. Spin. That was literally some shifting. Gear. That was not throttle.
Oh wow, that's a full back lap. Get on my way, get on my way, get on my way. You hear me, Ray? You hear me? You fucking no, hear me? No, you're too quiet. Do you hear me now? Do, do, do you hear me now? What is do it? Do you understand what I'm saying at this current moment in time? What is it? Said, you gotta save my flip in the like highlights for the race. You gotta. You have no choice. I didn't even see your flip. Well, it was a great flip. I went off in the uh, in the t turn right before the back stretch, and I hit the wall hard enough to flip the car completely. Fuck! Damn! You want something crazy? That's something my fastest lap. When I did that fast lap, I literally hit the brakes and stopped at the finish line. What the hell, brother? What? What crap were you smoking? Cause I need to. Oh, like if I stop? Or whatever, dude. How do you get two seconds faster? Just chilling. I I'll get have... it. No I end. I hey, have yo! I think I got kicked out. Hold up! I think I got kicked out. You got kicked out. Damn, but they say they didn't want fast drivers in here. Sir, your speed was five miles an hour over the limit. Please slow down. I should have had hey, a right me? there. Is it me or it said I was a great Mercedes and a Red Bull showed as white? No, that happens. Don't start. I agree. Do not start. What? What? Oh! No, 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 no. What the fuck, dude? They're forcing me to start on my soft tire? Are you serious? Yeah, brother. That tire is destroyed. I can't do any laps on that. Yo, do we start now? Oh my fucking 
god, they ruined my race before <laughs> this even started, dude. What? <laughs> what place did you get on the grid? Well, I'm starting last. Last? Oh. But they're not letting me, like, pick. God damn it, I got too I would say just start on the softs and then go to mediums. Yeah, yeah, but like my sauce are destroyed. Well, yeah, because we qualified on the sauce, so yeah, it makes sense. I didn't yeah. think they were still going to do the roll if we had less than 10 people. Like, there's no Q3, but whatever. Go ahead and ruin my, my race. It's all good. Technically, that is technically, technically, that one was Q3, so. Do I get to pit? And fix my tires. No. My tires are at 40% all around. Hey Ray, can we do a competition caution? Why? Because I'm sorry. Oh, my tires are at 20. What the fuck? Yeah, because I spawned a couple of times. What the fuck? Okay, it's a virtual safety car. GG's Nick. Virtual safety car, boys. What the fuck are you talking about? We, <laughs> me and Nick just lost it. So, go ahead and slow down. Safety going to the pit. It's, it's all over again. Rebel Mr. Mercedes, one to one. My boy say GG's. You know what Lewis keeps you saying? Go fight him. Let me give up. Safety car, safety car. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Wait. We threw a safety car, boys. It's serious. <laughs> Licks, I try to, I try to go in the, out in the inside. I fucking put my wheels too deep in the fucking apex. Slow down or what? Bro, we're, we're freaking racing up here. Mm -hmm. I said safety car and I'm actually serious. That's my fast time. That's mine, boy. <laughs> Go now. Oh, 
We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Don't get too comfortable up there. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Great, uh, right catch up, bro. What the fuck? How is it to catch up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, um, Nick. Whoa, you're getting this early, Nick? Look at your tires, my boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you mean this early? Guys, slow down. We're trying to recoup everything because see soft tires does not want to work. Bro, it's China. China destroys your tires, bro. I don't even in real life, even in real life, this car's lasting. Like max eight laps with all fire. Seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and you still went on another lap? That boy's nice. Talking about the back. You are so quiet, Moe. Wait, who's my lead? He's not this, it's not so quiet, it's Mike just super low. Correct. Yes, you can't really... 
Shit so quickly, what the hell? Okay, gap ahead is 23.4 seconds. I would have messed up all the came in front of you. Yeah, my, my cars are already at 40, guys. Okay. I really want to quit. <laughs> Great mobbing already. And you know what? At least you didn't have fucking 40% tires on this car. Nope, doesn't make nope doesn't make any difference about going loose in that one corner. Just don't go flat. I wasn't going flat in your way. I straight up lost it. I'll close up. Jeff, what in the hell is the fire word? I don't even think the hard tire can make it to the end. Hey, Lex and Nick, you guys might crash. Our gap to the car in front is thirty one. Well, my socks are down her right here. Holy shit. This tire sucks ass. <laughs> Why is this even a tire that they brought? I got the Amazon web. Oh my god. I wish you guys could see my own. <laughs> Damn, Ray died. This is so sad.
Ray knows what it's like to be me in Canada's 2021 I-22F. Hey Nick and Blitz, you guys should like, do a Malik. Nah, they're doing the Hamilton and Verstappen at the moment right now. Does that mean they're trying to kill each other? Possibly. If only I could see it without being one layer behind. <laughs> nah, my rails were just getting way too loose all over the track, and it just, it is really undrivable. Ray gets canceled. Oh no! This is so sad. I'm like, already said nigga. Wait, are you are you live streaming this? No, I'm recording. Uh. <laughs> are you are you talking to everyone, Ray? Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> no, don't no, do not mention that. Says N word gets fucking promoted to the best team. Less. Hey, you wasn't to the other guy that's supposed to be my uh, teammate. Vacation. Oh, Nick. Not Nick. No! <laughs> there goes the Mercedes. Rum moment. What the fuck? Where did you reset? Oh my god. What did you do, Nick? What he did lost you do? it. You know who hasn't lost it yet? <clears throat> you can well, catch up again, Nick. I'm not good at this track, bro. Dude, bro, I just want you to touch. Wait, five seconds behind. You can catch up. Only five seconds behind me while me. Oh. Oh, I jinxed it, that's for sure. I said I haven't spun yet in the next <sighs> ah, I cannot handle the circumstances. Plus, I don't want to watch anything from the back. I'm here to finish the race. I guess. I can't believe I fucking touched that apex, bro. My face one, I single handedly invite the two drivers who they try never win again. You say you what? My, when I fucking invite the two drivers that make sure I never win another race. <laughs> I was talking about me and uh, the uh, licks. Yep. Y'all are cracked. Hey, bro. The only reason I got better is because I kept joining. I kept doing the people that were better than me. So. So you stole their Hey, what I told you at the beginning. If you can't join, if you can't beat them, you gotta join them. I think I'm literally using uh, your setup for the You are? Uh, yeah. Well. The setup that I have it with for my friend, so that's fast. Nick is gonna catch up to legs. Shut up, Jeff.
Hey, race and Patel, look at my helmet. Is that the Yarn or Oatmeal helmet? I don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nick just came up, gained up about nearly, actually, he gained up about a second in a lap. I don't know what the fuck these guys are doing. I seriously wonder. Oh, never mind. He just pitted. He would have gone for the oh, lead with the next yeah, lap, but. Jeff, we're not finishing the race on this bitch. And it's the very hard compound tire for Ernick. <sighs> I feel like Lex might pull out something on me with some soft tires or some shit. That would be pretty funny if you did. I'll probably spit. No, actually, I'm not even gonna stop. <clears throat> oh my gosh, new tires feels like. Feels like fucking glue. What? I have no grip when I was using it. Oh, and I'm also. I'm a tire. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, I'm almost down a half a lap. You said what, bro? Your mic is so far. Do you think they'll ever remove the sausage curb? Yeah, they will. They better. I honestly think they're waiting for someone to die with whatever. People already got hurt. Oh, I didn't realize that putting a single tire into the gravel was corner cut. What the fuck? Oh, uh, there, uh, in F2, somebody almost died because of it. I mean, it was his fault, anyway. Yeah, you see how, you see how he pushed him, you see how he pushed him all the way out of the, out of the road? I don't know why he's still in fucking F2, like, he's literally only there because he raised the team, like, he's almost 30, you know, like, like, fucker has no future. <laughs> Dad had no talent either. He inherited all the money. None of the fucking talent. That's what made him even worse. But did you know freaking uh, uh Lon Lon uh Lando Norris? His dad is a millionaire. Yeah, I knew that. I know that since he was born. Like that was the first thing. I was surprised. I was like, what the hell? It's like it's a it's like Lance Stroll. He's like. The only thing is that Formula 1 because it's bad. Well, Lance actually had talent as well. Well, he not bad in the first season. He just had, I think, a lot of shitty seasons of good cards. I mean, he, uh, he probably, we probably haven't seen his actual potential because he's getting a shitty car. But... No, we saw uh, his actual potential. Had, I mean, in 2020, he was doing pretty good. That 
Oh, that is true. When you got that P1 in Turkey? That was pretty much peak. So like now I think even uh he just gets beat by all of his teammates, pretty much. I don't think I know he's that's what... for like Sergei Sabatia. Even Nico even nice. Nico even Nico Hulkenberg is beating on when he uh he plays Sebastian. You know, you know who I might, you know who I might think might be leaving F1. Everybody gonna be shocked about it, but like not really. Uh, Ricardo, they're not gonna give him the contract. Danny Rick. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I mean, how, how is, how is your car P P fourteen P fifteen when your second driver is? I don't even know how they have him, but his first driver is freaking P six and P five like. That. Make that make sense. So Lando, I'm mean, sorry, no. Daniel made a stupid move when he left the game. I don't know. Especially in hindsight, Alpine is actually in a good place. I think he's stupid. But, you know, obviously. And he probably, and he probably, and he probably did help uh, Alpine. Oh, shit. Sure. Because, he probably did help him because he probably took all the knowledge from uh, Red Bull and gave it to Alpine. And Alpine lost their uh their team principal. He got fired. I have no idea what Danny Rick is gonna do. Like at this rate. I'm not gonna lie. When he when he left Red Bull, I feel like that that's literally the end of his career right there. He just I, like I literally so. ended. because so Red, Red Bull like was already fucking with his career too. He wasn't going anywhere there. Like, he was winning some But he was better in a Red Bull than in any other teams that he was recently driven for. Renault was a piece of shit. Alp and McLaren, he only had two good races. That's basically much it. Uh, but under that, he's just been awful since then. I don't know what the fuck they, they've been they've been sucking the heck out of freaking uh Max a fucking uh Red Bull. They've been you sucking see? Max's dick for like five years. Dude, you see how you see how they 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 were like they were like uh Re uh Sergio Paris and Max are free to fight, but as soon as uh Sergio was at front, they told him to freaking swap spots. I was like, I was like, if, it's, if I was Sacred Paris, I would not give that spot up. Like, he's stripping. Or listen to them order. Well, there were a couple of there were a couple of drivers who did who have like a one off with Red Bull. You got Kenyon Kvyat. Then you got per um Gasly at the moment. And then you had Alex Alba on it, and all of a sudden they came out to perform well than what Daniel Ricardo had when he was on Red Bull. 
Bro, look, Red Bull has been running the team completely incompetently since fucking Toro Rosso started. I'm telling you. They, they don't make decisions that make sense ever if you look back in the history of the team. Like, for example, they had so many good drivers throughout the year that instead of promoting, they just fired them for new drivers. Like, uh, for example, I'll just fucking list it in order if I have to. But, like, the biggest examples were, like, Jaime Agasuari. Uh, what the fuck happened to him? Like, he was doing good. He was improving. Doing pretty much all they could have. They fired him. Uh, back in, like, 2011, Jaime Agosuari. Uh, you have also Sebastian Buemi, Sebastian Bourdais, some fucking, uh, John Eric Byrne. All of them get fired. Like, John Eric Byrne was... Uh, pretty much fired, and Daniel Kvyat got promoted, even though Vern wiped the floor with me. But like, I don't think you can expect Red Bull to make decisions that make sense. Like, like going with Albin again, he should never have been promoted to Red Bull in the first place. It's so fucking stupid. They basically sabotage his career. Like the person said. Well, you know what else was sabotaging their career? Pierre Gasly. Yeah, Pierre is being. Yeah. He, I don't know yeah, what the Pierre, Pierre was, was, Pierre was uh, so, he was just throwing their money out the window, for real. He kept on crashing that car. He kept like, crashing that car, and then most importantly, on his final race with Red Bull, he finished the race being a lap down. In, in, at the Red Bull ring. A track that you were supposed to be very successful of, and being a lap down at a racetrack that you were basically at home race with, it's unacceptable. It's like Dan Ricardo. It's like wrong with Red Bull where like, they don't want to support their drivers. If you can't survive in an environment and they throw you in a deep end, they don't want you. It's like that meme with uh, the ghost story where, like Andy, like, I don't want to play with you anymore. It's almost like a similar, it's almost like a similar situation what Gasly have with Vettel compared to 2018 Vettel in the 2019. Gasly, they, those two like literally have in common that they were just letting it come bro under the pressure. Like, being under pressure. Insane, by the way. Yeah. Because like Vettel was Vettel fucking dominated. Uh, I hate that curve. I hate all the curves. Not using. Uh, I was saying. Oh yeah, Vettel. Vettel fucking annihilated in the Red Bull with a lot more competition in 2012, especially. So just for me to see him get fucking flattened by Lewis, just insane. Like especially to see him just like completely shit himself. Whenever he gets put under any pressure, anybody or anything is crazy. Those four, those first four years with Red Bull was basically at the. Is basically they were just like at a, at a, the V8 era basically. Like the Red Bull cars and the Ferrari cars, they were like literally so dominant and very fast enough. The hell, even Mercedes couldn't even compete at the time. And then you go to the hybrid era when it all started, and look who's dominating in that area right now. And Rebel was like literally nowhere near to the. Uh, to I mean, the to be honest, I think. Right. I think, statistically, I think the, uh, the Ferrari is faster right now. Are there no. No, that's no. Here's the thing: what Ferrari can do, they can win a race. They, and they are really fast enough to win the race. They can do a fucking strategy. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to do a fucking strategy. Like it's astounding to me that Ferrari cannot fucking basic do basic math with anything. Like, dude. They just literally make choices that don't make sense. Like, remember when Vettel had to make his own strategy in the middle of the race? 
think it was in Spain, like 2019 or 2020. Oh yeah, I, he was like, he's like, wait, what, what the hell? What the hell? Where are we going? I said it was funny. No, he was literally like, he was talking to his engineer, like, look, look, this is this is what you need to do. You need to fucking tell me what like the tire is gonna do. You need to go and do the map right now. But we're not doing the strategy. It's like it's like when Kimi was on the team. He's like, shut up! I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, I know what it is. They were like, they were basically fucking like, I don't know what my is, but... Actually, you know what? Fun fact about Kimmy at Lotus. So, this is a thing, this is the stupidest thing they ever done. Any team has ever done a point in the They paid him per point. For every point he scored, I think they paid him like, I think I think 100,000 pounds. For every point that he scored, and he almost won the championship. What year was it? This was when he came back around, I think, 2012. Was it 2011? Yeah, 2011. It was with Lotus. He almost bankrupted the team because of how big his contract was. And then Lotus fucking hired Roman Grosjean and Pastor Maldonado. That thing does, does not make sense. Why would you be like, yes, because in Mercedes, we can do anything. And then you fucking get the, uh, the two crash test drivers. Wow. This is a Roman Grosjean, like the guy that we know now today, like he's a good driver. This is the Roman Grosjean that fucking caused a massive crash in the first turn. Of, uh, I wonder. I wonder what was gonna happen with Mickey Mickey the Massacre. I wonder if he was gonna. He's never you know his parents still own. Oh, uh, has right. No, they, uh, they pulled out. Yeah, I thought they uh, split up over that. I'm surprised if they did because. Yurik Riley was. Yurik Riley was run by Nick Massapin's father. So. His because dad. I remember, I remember. So he has no reason to give him money. Haas basically he rely did. on Yurik Riley because they can basically because they can basically save the team because they just did not have any sponsorships at the time, and they had some, they had some but it's. It's not quite beneficial enough then. But then. Yeah, because I'm. Yeah. Oh my god, you keep talking. But then. But then his father was like so being a dick at Griffin Steiner. And keep saying, like, if. If my. If my son doesn't perform. perform doesn't perform really well and make us. Make us better cars. We rip up the contract. I. We're not sponsoring for you anymore, and, you, and I will not pay you anymore. Yeah, yeah on uh, Drive to Survive, he said that. Yeah, he said that on Drive to Survive, and he was not lying at all. And then he he gave he gave uh they gave uh Nikita Mazepa a new chest, and he still out uh, like he still didn't perform. Guys, you know who because his son because Mazepa was was so fucking being a bitch about it like he keeps saying but like about Mick Schumacher's performance like how can he perform better than I can on my own we got the fans cheering on the fastest lap anyways why is this one two driver beating me he's probably the two champion beating my son why why is he beating my son who only won a two that two races that's basically what it's like but he was trash though like he did have some like Questionable, like what color are you doing? Moment. The good ending is that Robert Schwartz the F2 title gets promoted. No, bro. The, the funniest, the funniest memes is when uh when they when when they went back to Monaco, and they were like, like uh when they realize uh, when you realize your team is going to Monaco and your team name is Haas. Haas, try not to break your entire car down. You just gave him DRS? I oh, know you didn't. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You 
want them though. Alright, here's the thing, right? If Haas wants to succeed, you need to hire the best driver in East Asia. The man who spent so long at F2 that he was in there when it was still called GPP. The man known only as Sean Bilal, my right guy. Or, how about saying a fucking American driver who can actually be, so they can become a res representative to known as an American team. Um, no, no, they had their chance. They literally told Alexander Roth to go fuck off. So, no. But what if? What if they get Ross Colton? Who? Ross Colton. Who? You guys seriously don't know what, who Ross Colton is? Uh, you know what they should get though. Uh, I mean, has not been had a bad Not Ross Colton. Not Ross Colton. Oh, um, Colton. Colton Herda. I, I keep thinking of that. I keep thinking of the hockey player. Why the fuck did I keep thinking about that guy? You're not the only one. Oh! Red Bull has No way. No way. You're lying. I would not weave. I would not weave if I were you. You got more dead tires. I went to New York. Give me the suck. Here comes Nick on the final four. At the final three laps. I love democracy. All hail the CCP GP. Fuck you, I'm leaving. I was saw I'm leaving Rick at it. No, for you can back off. You can back off. I can't see. I'm fighting for my right to be on the path. Shit, oh shit, actually, you know what? I just realized something that if Red Bull is gonna sign someone from their program, it's probably gonna be Liam Lawson. Nick is gonna have DRS. All it took was three bits saying nigga one time. Now we have the lead lost in the network. Remember guys, if you say nigga, you will not be allowed to You already said it. <laughs> it's so did I. And neck overtakes. That was, Nick's I don't think, for the lead. The but the like battle the is still not over yet. However, Nick is on those fresher, hard compound tires than Exotic. No. No. I heard that shit. I heard that shit. Oh, I'm learning how to laugh. This is being a lot of plastic. Oh, yeah, this is the last lap. That's the last one. No. Well, that was a lap. 27, 28. Exactly, we'll have DRS in this one. Okay, well, I'm about to run out of here. 
as he's harvesting his battery. He's probably going to have to make one more charge out of this. Nick has a race one. I mean, Nick very No, not really. And we are approaching the final lap here of the All Hail the CCP GP. Nick trying to pull away for his second straight win of the season and the second win of the season of course as they went through the chicane for the final time here and they're gonna go for the very, they're gonna go for the very long stretch And next time I'm gonna try to full send it, but there was no more room out of it. Approaching to the final corner, Nick will win his second race of the season. GG's, Nick, GG's, bro. Good job, bro. Good job. Ah, oh, shit. Man, bro, what happened to you in that, in that hairpin? Bro, I fucking spent out. My tires are like fucking 60% old, bro. But you yeah. sold. You should have. You should at uh, a lap twenty. You should have. You should paid it for a new song. That's what I was afraid of. You 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 would have. I mean, to I, at some point I did want to pay for a fucking sauce, bro. But it's too late. I was just like, I'ma just finish it. <laughs> and I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna catch up to me anyways. I suck at this fucking track. I didn't even have a setup on. So, GG, bro. GG. That was a good race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Molly on the podium, are you kidding me? The, the 26th lap, uh, my SM was in trouble with low power. I was like, fuck, what the fuck? I'm this shit better not fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> nah, this shit was fucking exciting, yo. What is the next race? Spain? <laughs> Man, I wish we could get Monica, yo. Yeah. It'd be so fun to race at Monaco. Yeah, it would be so fun to race at Monaco. <laughs> I prefer to say this. <sighs> what a race, boys. What a race. Guys, I think I'm still... Oh, it's Australia. Ooh, Australia. I'm on bike. 16 points? 